Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of the tools for the trade for my wasp nest removals, uh, either that be yellow jackets, hornets, or even just regular um, common wasps. Uh, so I'll be going through my vacuum, some of the sprays that I use, the angle grinder, the notorious grinder, and my bee suit, and just kind of explaining the uh, ins and outs of it and the, the downfalls maybe of the suit. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be going through that stuff today. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Check out some of my other videos of my removals. Um, the European Hornet Queen, the Vesper Crabber Queen that I have, uh, they be having an update probably in the next couple days or so. She's uh, doing really well, and it's going to be nice weather for her to be getting out and getting into the box. So fingers crossed she stays and, uh, and builds her nest. Right, so this is the vacuum that I use, just a regular $40 hardware store special. You know, shop doc super vac, um, just something cheap. I don't, you don't really need anything too crazy. Um, so what I do is when I get to the to the job site, I add about a gallon and a half of water in the bottom of the vacuum, and then I take some Dawn dish soap, and uh, this one happens to be Mediterranean lavender scent. Mmm, just what the wasps want to smell when they go in to get sucked up and drown in. Bloop bloop, two little drops. That's all you need. Stir it together. And uh, you get a nice little frothy, sudsy, soapy um, bath for the wasps once they get sucked up. Well, is a uh, black flag. This is uh, just a flying insect killer, pretty generic stuff. Um, but what's nice about it is it makes a nice mist, and it gets on the uh, gets on the wasps, and then they um, they die pretty soon after. Um, what's great about using that is for like German yellow jackets or Eastern yellow jackets um, when they really start to swarm. It's good to kind of just do that, batten down the uh, batten down the numbers. And then lastly, my dreaded angle grinder with the uh, wood cutting blade on it, 60 tooth. What's kind of interesting about this is that uh, you can plunge into walls and kind of get like a, a shallow cut, um, which is really handy if you're up in like between rafters, like I did in my one video. You gotta watch for her because she will bite you. If you put her down, turn her off, put her down, and she's still spinning the centrifugal force. Makes her turn over like this and hits a deck or something and then jumps up and bites your fingers. <clears throat> Not like I'm speaking uh, from experience or anything, but um, I'll add some pictures in there of the, uh, the brutality. When I get to the job site, this is how I put it on, one leg at a time. I will say, taking it off is probably more entertaining than putting it on. Wink, wink. All right. The first thing, take the first zipper. There's two zippers. Don't pull them both off, or you're going to have a little hole in your suit, and uh, you're going to have some creatures getting in that you don't want to have come in. Do that. I usually bring this right up nice and tight and I keep my hat on underneath bring that zipper around bring that zipper around and then inside of here you can't really see it too well but inside here is a piece of velcro that links the hood on. Now what's nice about having the hat is that if you don't, there's nothing here to protect your nose from touching the veil, the screen, and then you can get wasps to land on the screen and then sting you through the, uh, since you're up close. So if you have the hat on, it's nice because it kind of keeps it back from your face. So, so that's what you do with the, with this, with the veil. Then last thing you don, you take the, uh, the little elastic straps, put them on, on both hands. Take the gloves, put the right hand in the right hole, that's what she said. Put the glove on, and then you bring this up over. So now you have double protection. So you have the main sleeve, which is here, coming up to your wrist, 
and then this sleeve goes over top of that. Now there is one weakness to these, to this suit, is when you're donning the glove and you have it on, and say I have the glove on this hand, when I'm reaching into a cavity, sometimes the, the sleeve does come up a little bit, and the only thing you have protecting you from stings is this fine little thin fabric of the, of the glove. This isn't really to protect you from stings by itself. It's really supposed to be over top of the, the bee suit sleeve. So um, what I do is I wrap a little bit of duct tape on my wrist and then I put the glove on and then that way I have optimal protection from, uh, from stings. And sometimes I, I just, if I'm not working inside of a cavity or something, I'll actually pull this, this down and scrunch it up a little bit and that just really gives you extra protection because then it's more distance from, from your skin. Um, underneath the suit itself, I don't just, I don't wear my birthday suit under here. If you have just your birthday suit on, you're going to get stung. Um, this fabric isn't super thick. I mean, it's, it's thick enough for if you're doing just um, maybe bees, bumblebees, you're not really worried, or honeybees, you're not really worried about too much. But if you were doing wasps, especially hornets, Vespa crabro, have a long stinger, and they're going to get through just this suit. It's a pretty, pretty thin material. Um, so what I do is I wear insulated clothes underneath, and, um, and it's hot as balls in the middle of the summer, but uh, it's better than getting stung. It's the only times I really get stung are on my wrist, and the one time with the best crab row where it shot venom in my eye, but that wasn't really getting stung, that was just getting sprayed. Um, thanks for watching. Um, again, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, if you've been here before, comment, like, and share. Appreciate it. Um, I'll be having an update video probably in the next few days when I let my girlfriend out and uh, she will be starting to build her nest hopefully fingers crossed um, but yeah I'll be giving you guys an update here coming up thanks for watching